It's February, which means romance is in the air. <sighs> You're thinking of the best romance movie to watch to get you into that Valentine's Day mood. In light of the romantic season that is all around us, we've decided to revisit one of our favorite romantic movies, 10 Things I Hate About You. At the time, the cast was still relatively unknown and had this film to pave their way into the bright lights of Hollywood. Unfortunately, sometimes it seems that the lights that shine the brightest are the first to burn out. The world lost an irreplaceable actor with the passing of Heath Ledger, so we thought we'd take a moment to remember Heath through his role that caught Hollywood's attention. While we're at it, we also might as well check in on his on-screen lover, Julia Stiles. The on-screen couple clearly seemed perfect for each other, but what were things like for the two when the director called Cut? As always, don't forget to subscribe to Rumor Juice. Heath Ledger He was one of the greatest actors of our generation and was tragically taken away from those who loved him and fans who adored him way too soon. His most iconic role is still, of course, his outstanding performance as Joker, but he was so much more dynamic than anybody could have imagined. He could play the bad guy or the teen heartthrob and always steal the scene. Despite having been one of the most talented actors of our time, there's still so much that you might not know about his life. Heath was so much more than just his role as Joker. He was a devoted father, the type of friend that would always be there for those around him, and of course, an incredibly talented artist. As a kid, Heath used to be an avid chess player and even won himself an award when he was just 10 years old. Young Heath knew he was different from those around him, that he wasn't destined for an ordinary life and had no plans of going by society's rules. He dropped out of school at the age of 17 to pursue his passion for acting, and it was almost instantly that he landed a role in a local Australian TV series called Sweat. Over the next couple of years, he starred in two other local TV shows, and finally in 1997, he was cast in his first feature film, Black Rock. Up next was his role of Patrick Verona in 10 Things I Hate About You, where he practically dissolved the hearts of women all over the world with his charming smile and long, messy hair. At first, it seems to be that he's the typical bad boy, looking to break the heart of Cat Stratford. But the tables turned when he starts to fall in love with her, and all the women watching this happen through their TV screen were begging him to fall in love with them too. Heath dated many women over the years, with well-known actresses such as Naomi Watts, Lisa Zane, and Heather Graham. But it was during his role on Brokeback Mountain where he met the true love of his life, Michelle Williams. Their chemistry was undeniable, with their co-star Jake Gyllenhaal confessing that during rehearsals, Heath and Michelle would have googly eyes with each other most of the time. Our initial meeting, the circumstances of how we first met were cosmic or something, Michelle admitted about their meeting. Not long after they met, Michelle fell pregnant and the couple welcomed a beautiful baby girl they named Matilda Rose. Heath was constantly gushing about his family, talking about how his family was everything and more to him. My life changed suddenly from meeting uh, Michelle. You know, I've got, I have a family, a beautiful family and a beautiful, two beautiful girls thanks to Brokeback Mountain. So it's extraordinary the level in which my life has changed. Before, I felt like I was floating through life, like a ghost. I may not have even existed. Unfortunately, it seems that the couple battled to balance their work life and family life and split due to the distance that had begun to form between the two. Tragically, just five months after the couple split, Heath passed away from an accidental overdose of mixed substances. The reasons for his passing have always been up for discussion. Was it really an accident? Did his commitment to his role as the Joker drive him to a pool of darkness? No one will ever really know the truth of what Heath was really experiencing at the time. What we do know is that Michelle was totally and utterly shattered by the loss. Friends and family had always thought that what Michelle and Heath had was unfinished and that they would have gotten back together eventually. I don't think they fell out of love. It was probably a tough love, a friend said. They were so young and that baby was the light of both of their lives. They were just working all the time and it was complicated, said another friend. Michelle has admitted that she will never be able to fill the void that Heath has left behind in her life. Every time she misses him or wonders about what they could have become, she looks at their beautiful daughter and knows that there's a part of him that lives through her. Julia Stiles When someone you love writes you a poem, you don't expect it to be titled 10 Things I Hate About You. So when Cat Stratford read out her poem to the class that was about her feelings for Patrick Verona, audiences couldn't help but be taken completely by surprise. But mostly I hate the way I don't hate you. Not even close. Not even a little bit. Not even at all.
Kat made it clear that the 10 things she hated about Patrick were the same things that she loved about him too. And cue the waterworks. Kat Stratford wasn't your typical ditzy high school girl that fit in with the crowd. She was the snarky, anti-mainstream feminist lead. Her character goes on a journey and learns how to let loose, have fun and fall in love, and at the same time, maybe dancing on tabletops every now and again. The film shot the actress into stardom, and she was instantly one of the most popular actresses of the 90s. The actress was drawn to the part because Kat's character was so different from the other female roles in popular teen comedies at the time. The reason I wanted that part so badly was because I thought it was so refreshing seeing a teenage girl be feisty and opinionated and be a fish out of water, but proudly so. After her newfound fame, Styles remained very selective about the roles she wanted to take on and refused to be typecast. She's always been an outspoken feminist and refused to play just any female roles that were offered to her. She took on roles in the Bourne franchise and the Dexter series. Styles was drawn to the part of Lumen on Dexter because her character wasn't just a victim. She was layered and complex. I was really excited by the idea that she'd be involved in Dexter's secret life, as opposed to being on the outside of it like a lot of the other characters. However, instead of getting caught up in the blinding Hollywood lights, the actress decided to further her education with a college degree, majoring in English. She took a step back from Hollywood, focusing on her personal life, going to college and starting her own family. She went on to marry Preston Cook and enjoyed the time away from Hollywood to spend time with her family. After a few years away from the spotlight, Julia decided to step back into the world of Hollywood. Unfortunately, she found that it had become tougher to find roles well-suited for her. Hollywood had changed over the years while she had taken her hiatus, and she realized that it wasn't going to be as easy as it was before she left. The actress had also become a new mother in 2017 and was overjoyed to share the news on Instagram, as one does these days. However, after posting a photograph of her holding her son, the actress was faced with a large amount of criticism and was mommy-shamed for the way she'd been holding him. Julia quickly decided that she wanted to maintain a certain level of privacy when it came to sharing images of her personal life, especially her son. I can take all the criticism, I can deal with that, I'm an adult, but when they started making comments about him, the mama bear kicked in and I was like, oh hell no, that's totally off limits and how dare you. I don't really have regrets, but it was a big lesson for me to not share photos with my son. Just a few years later, the actress re-established her career in Hollywood in 2019 when she landed the part of a journalist in the film Hustlers, which has been praised by critics as an empowering female heist drama. When Julia Stiles read the script for the upcoming film, she knew she had to be a part of it. The movie tells the story of a group of female strippers who con their wealthy clients, and Stiles portrayed the part of the journalist who interviews them about their crimes. You might not know this, but the film is in fact based on a true story inspired by journalist Jessica Bressler. To prepare for the role, the actress reached out to Pressler, her character's real-life counterpart via Instagram, and they eventually scheduled a playdate for their kids. I brought my son over to her apartment, and he proceeded to destroy her living room while we talked about everything that led to this point. There's no doubt that the romantic comedy 10 Things I Hate About You was a complete game-changer when it came to how romance stories were told. Kat's character proved that female leads can be strong and outspoken feminists, while Patrick showed that bad boys aren't always there to break your heart. While the actors both chose to go in different directions with their career, Heath looked to break boundaries in Hollywood and create unforgettable characters through his performances. Julia chose to be a lot more selective with her acting roles and focus more on her personal life and furthering her education. It's become a classic go-to romance that will take you on a roller coaster ride of emotions, and it also birthed two incredibly talented actors. If Heath was still around today, it's a guarantee that he would still be stealing scenes and blowing audiences away with his outstanding performances. Julia Stiles has clearly made a name for herself in the world of Hollywood, and she's an inspiration to all actresses out there. As always, we are eager to see your opinion in the comment section below, and do tell us which topic we should cover next. Behind the scenes dramas of your favorite shows? Why did this seemingly perfect couple break up? How come this Hollywood hottie is still alone? Who holds the title of the most fan-friendly celebrity? Make your voice heard and we at Rumor Juice will make sure you are never bored. Subscribe to our channel and don't forget to tell your friends how cool we are.